Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit of a challenge. The last seven days I have been drinking nothing but Huel. Now I say nothing, I've been drinking nothing but Huel in the daytime. In the evenings I've been having evening meals but I've replaced breakfast and lunch with Huel. A couple of weeks ago I posted a video about giving up Diet Coke for 100 days and I documented the results. So go and watch that now or after this video because if you enjoy this one you'll probably enjoy that one too. For those of you that don't know what Huel is, firstly let me just say this video is not sponsored at all. I bought the Huel products with my own money. This is going to be a completely honest review. I'm not in touch with anyone at Huel. If you want to get in touch they can, hello. But anyway, for those that don't know, Huel is a company that sells nutritionally complete shakes basically. So you replace, it's meal replacements. You can have it in addition to your food or you can use it as a total meal replacement. I, as I said, have decided to replace breakfast and lunch. Um, I think it stands for human fuel. It's pretty much vegan, I think, and animal friendly. It's eco. From what I've read online, they seem like a really, really good ethical company and the shakes are genuinely nutritionally complete. It's not like some of these other companies, you know, back in the day when my mum used to be on these milkshakes to lose weight. They're not like that. They're actually full of goodness and they give you all the nutrients you possibly need to consume as a human being in a day. So I thought, hmm, does this work? At the start, I thought I was going to hate it because I love eating. There was no way I ever would want to replace a meal with a drink. But I was like, let me just give it a good go. Now, the main aim for this is for me to lose weight. It's January. I'm trying to lose a bit of fat. I want to retain as much muscle as possible. So I chose the black edition of the Huel powder, which is higher in protein and lower in carbs. But my aim is to lose weight. I've been filming all week. So let me just take you to when it arrived. Right. So my Huel pack has arrived. Let's open this up. You're a hooligan now. You've made the right choice to be healthier, save cash, and help our planet. Okay, what have we got in here? Okay, so I think this might be the t-shirt. You get a free t-shirt with every order, so that's great. So I've got salted caramel, black edition, which is higher in protein and lower in carbs, and the same, but vanilla. Cool. And then, oh, it comes with a shaker. Fantastic. Very nice. And two scoops, one for each bag. Very, very good. Let's open this t-shirt. I ordered a, a black small. Sometimes I'm small, sometimes I'm medium. So let's, let's hope this fits. Do you know what? They're so clever with their marketing because then people will wear these in the gym and stuff and then it's free advertising. Yeah, that'll fit. Very nice. Let me put it on. Very good. I'm officially a hooligan. Very nice. Right, it's Monday the 11th of January 2021 and it's my first day of having Huel. So what I've got here is the black edition Huel, which is the one that has less carbs in it and more protein. So per shake, it should be about 400 calories per shake and about 40 grams of protein per shake. I'm not looking forward to this one, guys. I love food so much. I love eating. This just doesn't appeal to me, replacing meals with shakes. I mean, this morning is fine. I never eat breakfast really anyway. Sometimes I have protein porridge if I'm trying to put on muscle and bulk. At the moment, I'm not. I'm trying to lose fat. So I just do intermittent fasting and I don't eat until about 12 or 1 o'clock. This morning won't be too difficult because I'm just having something extra that I don't normally have. But I think lunchtime is going to be really tough because I love eating and I love chewing. And uh, I don't want to drink my calories, but we'll give it a go. Here we go, I've got 500 ml of water. I'm gonna have the salted caramel flavor. Two scoops. It smells like Play-Doh. It doesn't smell like salted caramel. This is a lot of liquid. Whenever I drink my protein shakes, I always put a tiny amount of liquid in it because I hate them and I just wanna get it down. Whereas this is a lot. Right, I definitely need a coffee, but let's try this fuel. It smells more like salted caramel now. Not bad. That's definitely, mm. I was gonna say it's definitely nicer than my protein shakes. Not that much nicer, but it is like nicer. And actually with this amount of liquid, I can see how it would fill me up. Luckily I've got a really busy day today. I don't think I'm gonna miss it too much. It might actually be a really good thing that I'm on this today because I've got to drive up to London around lunchtime. So I'm not gonna have much time to make food. Hello, good morning. So yeah, let's see what happens. I should also say that I have just weighed myself this morning and I'm 87.1 kilograms. And as I said earlier, my goal is still to lose fat. So I wanna see if using these calorie controlled nutritionally, 
I can't even say the slogan. Calorie controlled, nutritionally complete. I've got a voiceover job today and I can't even talk. To see if they make any difference, to see if they actually help you to lose weight because in my mind, I'm like, well, I don't normally eat breakfast. So this is adding calories in. I probably only have around 400 calories for lunch anyway. So will I even lose weight? I just want to be less than 87.1 kilograms. I would like to lose at least half a kilogram. So let's aim for 86.6 kilograms. Okay, shake done. I'm feeling full. It didn't taste like delicious. But I guess that's not really the point. The point is I'm full and I've got all the nutrition that I need. Right, so I've just arrived in London. My voiceover job is in half an hour or 40 minutes. I have to quickly upload something for a client and then I can uh, finish off my fuel. So I've been sipping it on the way down. Obviously, it's quite hard to drive and drink. So that's why I've still got some left. So it's a little bit warm now, but I'm enjoying it actually. Do you know what? It really kept me full. I was so full all morning. I had a really busy morning. I then had some chicken bites as a snack because I want some extra protein. If I have two shakes a day, that will give me about 80 grams of protein. So I had another 20 grams of chicken and then I've got a normal dinner tonight. So um, yeah, so far, so good. So after day one and finished, I was feeling really happy. I weighed myself on the morning of day two and I had lost a full kilogram. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday. It's day two. So yesterday I weighed 87.1 kilograms and this morning I weigh 86.1 kilograms, which means in the space of one day, I've lost one kilogram, which is 2.2 pounds. Obviously I'm pleased with that in a way, but I'm also a little bit now nervous because I don't want to lose weight that fast. That's not healthy and that <sighs> could mean that I'm losing muscle mass, but I did eat quite a lot of protein yesterday. I calculated, I think I had about 150, 170 grams of protein. And bearing in mind, like I, I had a full on evening meal. I had pasta, like a big bowl of pasta, and usually pasta will make you weigh heavier the next day because it retains water weight. But yeah, so I'm, I'm very confused. I don't know how I've lost one kilogram. Maybe it's because of the shakes. Normally I have food sitting in my body and, and the food itself weighs, and maybe it's the, the shakes don't weigh as much. But yeah, a little bit happy because you guys know that I was worried that I would put on weight because I don't eat breakfast and this is adding in an extra meal. But I'm now a little bit concerned that maybe it's happening too fast. So I'm gonna do it again today and see what happens. And if I lose dramatically again tomorrow, then I know that I need to eat a bit more. I think this is good news, but I'm not sure. I was dubious because I was like, where's this come from? It's impossible to lose a kilogram of fat overnight and it's impossible to lose a kilogram of muscle overnight. So I think my body was just adjusting to more of a liquid diet. But the thing is, I ate normally in the evening. I had a massive bowl of pasta. I had a yogurt, I had a cookie, I had multiple bits of chocolate. So I ate kind of normally and I still managed to lose weight at this stage. I mean, I don't know if it's fat, but lose weight. Right, we are just off for a walk, aren't we, Ava? Right, let's go. We've been doing this every day. Been doing about five miles every single day. Got my wellies on. Go on in. Right, this morning I'm gonna have an iced salted caramel one with a shot of coffee. Good, missed the cut. This is what happens when you film. <laughs> Don't look what you're doing. Am I gonna get it in this time? Who knows? Yes. So this is what I'm having for breakfast and this is what my dad's having, peanut butter on toast. What do you think to me doing fuel? I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you're happy with the peanut butter? Happy with peanut butter. Okay, fine. I'll get back to this then. Mmm. It's nice with a shot of coffee. Anyway, it's day three and I'm feeling good. I've weighed myself this morning and I've gained a 0.2 of a kilo since yesterday's huge drop of one kilogram. So I'm quite happy with that because it means sort of I'm evening out and sort of recovering from that huge drop in weight. Some of you might be thinking, well, why aren't you happy with that drop? But as I said yesterday, I'm worried that, you know, it's impossible to lose one kilo of fat in one day. So it's either water weight or I've lost muscle mass or something like that. But equally, it's that it's impossible to lose that much muscle mass in one day. So I'm like, what is it? But yeah, I'm feeling good. I, th these really do keep you full. So I'm, I haven't been hungry at all while I've been drinking these, which is great. But I have really looked forward to my evening meal because obviously I've been eating normally in the evenings and I just could never replace every single meal with one of these because I love eating. <sighs> right, I've just had a four hour call with my business coach and I'm hungry. It's uh, two o'clock, so I'm gonna have my 
lunchtime Huel. I had a little break on the call, so I came downstairs and had one of these fridge raiders, which I absolutely love. These are 19 grams of protein, and they're just so yummy. So I've had that every day as a little snack to keep me going between breakfast and lunch, plus to top up my protein. But time to crack on. I'm gonna go for a dog walk, and then I'm gonna have a workout with my brother, and then dinner. All right, it's day four now, and I'm gonna try the exact recipe as the other days, but in the blender. Apparently this makes it really smooth and velvety. I've put slightly less water in as well, so it might be thicker. But I've still gone for a shot of coffee as well. So pop that in. It's definitely smoother. Right, it is day six of my Huel challenge, or whatever you want to call this. I've had my Huel for this morning. And do you know what? Over the past couple of days, I've started to feel really hangry in the afternoon at about three, four, five o'clock, all the way until six o'clock, because that's when I tend to have dinner when I'm at home. I feel really, really hangry. I'm so hungry that I'm angry, if you don't know what that means. It's just the craving of like eating food. So as I said, even though I've been having a few little snacks, like some chicken bites and stuff, it just doesn't satisfy that craving. So by the time it comes to our evening meal, I'm like shoveling it down and I'm so happy after I've eaten because I love chewing food. So yeah, it is filling. But it's now, you know, day six, and I'm starting to be like, I don't think I could do this. I'm enjoying it still, the results are still there, my weight is still going down, but yeah, it's just, I get a bit hangry. When it came to the weekend, I must say, I didn't stick to it. I had my Huel shake in the morning, on the Saturday and the Sunday, but by the time it got to lunchtime on both the Saturday and the Sunday, I wanted normal food, so I gave in, and I had sandwiches, and I just ate what I liked. To be fair, I didn't really mind too much because it made me realize that, oh, maybe this isn't sustainable for me because I am craving being able to eat my food rather than drink it. So it was a bit of an indicator to me maybe Huel is good for me in the mornings or for lunchtime but maybe five days a week rather than the full seven. I weighed myself every single day, Monday to Sunday. So as you can see, my weight dropped and then it kind of went up a bit at the weekend because I was eating bread and all the delicious things. But on average, my average weight for the week before I started Huel was 87.4 kilograms and my average weight for the Huel week was 86.3. So that is a loss of 1.1 kilograms in one week. Now, as I've said before, just because I've lost weight doesn't mean I've lost fat. It could be water weight, it could be stuff to do with salt, it could be a bit of muscle loss, it could be a bit of fat loss, it could be anything. So, don't get me wrong, I'm not here saying, I lost 1.1 kilograms of fat. I'm not, but I did lose 1.1 kilograms of weight. And I do feel better. I felt like I had more energy last week, and I can feel a bit trimmer, like I just feel like I have lost a bit of fat. So, I'm really, really pleased with that result. I wasn't really expecting it. But as I said towards the end of those clips, I was starting to feel a little bit hangry and I wasn't the most pleasant person to be around last week um, for the last few days. So I'm still doing it this week. It's actually now Thursday of the following week and I've been having Huel every single day. Uh, but not for breakfast. I've now cut out breakfast again. I just don't like eating or drinking at breakfast time. I just like having a coffee and that is it. So um, I've been having Huel for lunch and it's really good when I'm busy. It is a bit harder when I'm at home, but I've had Huel today and I've been at home all day and it's now gone four o'clock, half past four, and I'm starting to feel quite hungry now. But yeah, so going forward, I think I'm gonna continue having Huel in my diet somehow. I'm gonna continue having it for lunch, but I won't do it for lunch every single day. So I think I'll reserve having Huel for when I'm super busy and don't have time to cook or can't be bothered to cook. And I'll have it when I feel like it and I won't when I don't. Because uh, to be honest, I don't think it is fully sustainable for a human being to drink Huel, you know, for breakfast and lunch for the rest of their life. I don't want to drink my calories. I like eating them. So I feel like I could maybe do Huel for lunch maybe three days a week or something like that. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to keep going with it. I mean, I've still got the bags to finish. But yeah, I was really pleased with the results. I'm continuing to drop weight. So as I said, this week was an unofficial week. I haven't really been filming it, but I've had Huel for lunch every day this week and I weighed myself this morning and I'm now 84.9. So my weight has continued to just drop. I mean, when I did film the first clip, I think I was 87.1 kilograms and I'm now 84.9. So 
My weight is still going down, which is really, really great. It's great that they're high in protein too, because it's helping retain muscle mass. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful or enjoyable in some way. Maybe you're thinking of trying out Huel. If you're looking for a yes or no from me, I'd say yes, give it a go. If you're one of those people that doesn't mind drinking your calories as opposed to eating them, then I'd say try it out. I don't mind doing that a few days a week, but I definitely couldn't do it all the time. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please click subscribe. I post videos every single week. If you enjoy these types of videos, then I did another one where I gave up Diet Coke for 100 days and documented the results. So that will be in the link in the description. So go and check that out and I'll see you next time. Bye.